Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Exceeding Shadows Video Game Collection. On this episode, we're going to start talking about my favorite series, or console, Nintendo GameCube. So let's go. We got Yu-Gi-Oh! False Bound Mem Kingdom. We got WrestleMania 18. We got Spider-Man. Looney Tunes back in action. Power Rangers Dino Thunder, my favorite series from, like, the new ones. I'm just letting you guys know. Donkey Kongo, which is just like Guitar Hero, but only with Kongos. Crush Hour, just like... Twisted Metal. You never played it? I'm just feel sorry for you guys. Uh, next, we got Star Wars Rebel Strike 3. Uh, good game. It has all from uh, Squadron 1 and 2, so it's really good. Next, Digi... Uh, dude, why am I saying Digimon? No, but it, it is in there, so you guys know. Uh, Disney's Magic Mirror starring Mickey Mouse. This game is really good, but uh, mostly for children, but if you want it, go ahead. Uh, F-Zero GX. This game... It's pretty hard to race. Uh, <laughs> just gonna say that. Metro Prime and Metro Prime 2's Echo is a bonus disc. This game is kind of rare to sell as a fine, but it's really good, so I recommend getting it. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai. One of my favorite Budokai is actually number three, and then Tenkaiji is actually number two and three. Just let you guys just know one. Warrior World. It's like Mario World, but it's Warrior's World, and he just loves the money. <laughs> then you guys know. Uh, Soul Calibur 2, which there's three versions of it. The GameCube, which you're seeing right now. PlayStation 2 and Xbox. In the GameCube, you get Link. PlayStation, you get a tanking character. I don't remember his name. And, and, I, and I, Xbox, you get uh, Spawn or something. Next, you, we got Crazy Taxi. Uh, I feel sorry for people that never play this game. It's super fun. Maybe it's not for you, but I like the game myself. So, But I wanted to get number two so bad, but... Gotta find it. And the cover's pretty dull. So yeah. Star Fox is Adventures. Is, if you know what Star Fox is, you'll like it. But if you don't, you might have to try it. Because if you like Zelda, it's kind of like Zelda. Just letting you guys know. Uh, Super Monkey Ball 2. Oh, good game, Monkey Ball, man. Just right there, good game. We'll just say that. Next, we got Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. You took it out with all the other monsters from Godzilla series, and you love it, and it's cool. Naruto Clash Ninja, uh, no, no, Naruto Clash Ninja. This game is good, but I recommend not getting it. I recommend getting number two. But in this game, you can only get seven characters at best. That's it, only seven. So, next, we got Mario Party 4, which is one of the good games, but not as good as I could rest, like six, two, eight, the rest. So, good game, though, and I did not get that. Or it's from Kmart. I didn't get it from Kmart. I got it from, like, somewhere. Vita Joe, Red Hot Rumble, you do get out with all the other Vita Joe characters, also from the TV series. And they're going pretty fast on this, so it's pretty cool. Taz Wanted, he is wanted from the cops, taking down everything on uh, Looney Tune Land or something, I don't know. Good game, good game, gonna say that. Pokemon Channel is the sequel to Hey You Pikachu, which is the three starters from the whole which is the third generation, but now we're in the fifth. Yeah. The fifth. And I never got the E-Reader cards, and I only got one, but it's not from this game, so. SpongeBob SquarePants, featured from the Krusty Krab. Uh, it's my favorite one, I gotta say that. It's my favorite SpongeBob. It's really good, though. Gotta say that. Uh, oh, and it makes you laugh. Uh, Sonic Mega Collection and Sonic Gems Collection. These games have all the old Sonic Classic games. Mega Collection has basically all of them, and it's Sonic Gems Collection has basically the somewhat newer ones. But it's, it's really good, these two, so I recommend getting both of them. So. Oh, and then the Mega Collection, you can also get on PlayStation and Xbox and stuff. Not Jams, because it's only for GameCube. Uh, Digimon Rumble Arena 2. This game, you get to duke it out with all the other Digimon characters from all seasons, except for like 5th and 6th and stuff like that. Uh, so, I have a bunch of games that you get to duke it out with a bunch of characters from like the series. Okay, Mario Superstar Baseball. Alright, it's a bestseller, which I think I passed another bestseller. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay, Mario Baseball. It's the Mario version of a baseball game. It's I kind of like it. It's not as bad, because I kind of don't like baseball, but, hey, it's only me. Okay, so, Naruto Clash Ninja 2. I recommend you need this game in number one, because you get even more characters in just seven. You get even twice as more than 14. But I don't remember how much you get exactly. I recommend getting this game, though. Really good. Mario Party 5, this game is better than number five, number 4. And number 5, it's all based off, not like, dreams and stuff. 
like, oh, Nightmare and a drain that just left up. Stuff like that. Sonic Riders, you get to race with three new characters, which is Jet, Wave, and Storm. I'm not going to get all into it, but if you like Sonic and you like just racing, you're going to like this, so. Kirby Air Rides, it's like Sonic Riders, but with Kirby characters. And there's only like three, Kirby himself, Meta Knight, and King DDD. And I think something else, but I don't remember. Uh, so, here is, ah, uh, double tree, double deucive. Pokemon XZ, Gal of Darkness, and Pokemon Coliseum. If you want to know which one goes first, it's Pokemon Coliseum, Den XD. Coliseum. It has a guy snatching up Pokemon for good, which is all shadow Pokemon. Shadows are just like evil, and then you can purify them to be good. And then in this game, and five years later of that game, and, and actually of the game time, not real life, uh, you have another kid doing the same thing, but with a couple new Pokemon and taking down the whole entire op uh, operation of Shadow Pokemon. So, recommending both games. If you want to know the series, go get it. Okay, so, uh, who cares? Let's do both of these, even though they're not related. Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. It's actually the original from the Dreamcast version, but you do get newer graphics and newer stuff from it. And I just love Sonic. And then Pikmin. Oh, Pikmin, man. Pikmin is just like Lemmings, but if you never play Lemmings, just like Pikmin. <laughs> Pikmin, you can control at least 100 Pikmin to take down stuff and obstacles, so it's a strategy kind of game. A real-life strategy kind of game. Then we got Star Fox Assault. One of my favorite Star Fox games, next to uh, the 64, but not really much of Adventures. But this game has all of it. You have to, you have to play through from basically uh, the graphics of like 64, Adventures, Command... Everything. So, recommending this game. It's like the best from the series. Everybody says it. It's true. Next game we got is Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, which you also need the, the Donkey Kong bongos, but you don't need to have it, but it's mostly recommended to have it. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat is just like the Donkey Kong with the music and all, but it's an adventure with Donkey Kong and taking down some of the new bosses. So, yeah. The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. One of my favorite Zelda games next to Wind Waker and Orcrine of Time. Uh, this game, it's really good. It has a good storyline, but not as well, maybe, as Orcrine of Time, which we love all more. So, just saying. Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Uh, if you love the series, you, you already want to get it. it. It's the best Paper Mario game of the series. Recently, right now. So, I don't know how the new ones are going to come up out, but whatever it is. It's probably not going to beat Thousand Your Door. Okay, so who's going to double do Civ? Super Mario Sunshine and Luigi's Mansion. If you guys want to know which one comes first in the storyline of the timeline of Mario, it's actually Luigi's Mansion that comes uh, after. Yeah, crazy, huh? That one came out first, and then this one came out second. After Mario uh, Sunshine's cleaning up in Delfino Plaza and all that, taking down Bowser, afterwards, I guess he won a mansion, and Luigi had a find Mario inside his own mansion! Because it says actually somewhere in the timeline of the game of Luigi's Mansion, so... Next, we got Sonic Heroes! If you love Sonic games, you're gonna love this game. Just trust me, you're gonna love it. And, uh... Here we go. I'm just gonna have to do this really fast. Mario Kart Double Dash! If you hear my dog, screw her. Mario Kart Double Dash, uh... We got, uh... You can play as two characters except for one, so that's why I love this one better. Screw the doorbell right now. I gotta... Screw it right now. I know who it is, but screw it right now. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. My favorite Sonic game ever. Let's just go with that. Next, we got Super Smash Bros. Melee. You could duke it out with all the other Mar Nintendo characters. Not Sega or Capcom like in Brawl. So, Super Mario Strikers. It's a soccer version of Mario. My favorite one, and it shows up some of the Donkey Kong series, which is pretty cool. So, And the last games I got. Rugrats Royal Ransom. Yes. Awesomeness, I know. Not really. It's, it's an okay game. Game Boy Player. It, you know, give, you play a Game Boys on it. Uh, Digimon World 4. It's Digimon Adventure stuff. Spider-Man 2, the, the game, movie thing. This one, a movie. Add in Eddie, the Misadventures. The, a game from the TV show. Custom Robo. Uh, you get to customize for robots and duke them out. Super Monkey Ball. Uh, you already know it. Let's just skip it. <laughs> okay, The Legend of Zelda uh, Collector's Edition is pretty rare to find, I guess. But I have it, and you can play a bunch of other Zelda games, basically. And a 
Well, you guys figure it out. And the Wind Waker. Oh, one of my favorite ones. I gotta say that. I wish I had a case for it, but I don't. And the last one is Billy Hatching a Giant Egg from the creators of Sonic Team. So, from Sonic. What do you know? And that ends up my GameCube collection. <sighs> my favorite collection of all time. And I had to go fast on this one because I tried before uh, recording and it didn't go as well, but I did good. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Exceeding Channels Video Game Collection, which I don't know what you're taking on, but you just gotta stay tuned. And I'm Exceeding Sh Shadow. Sorry if I sound tired, but I do because I'm kind of sick and tired, so. Not sick and tired of this, but just sick and tired in general of actually being tired and sick. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.